people love to have a dog that's intense, full of itself, acts like it's all that and then some. They hate to limit them. No, gadget, back off. Hey, gadget, back off. Thank you. Yeah, but you were pulling him away. Why? There you go. Now, that's the proper thing. This dog, just like a male, walks around and does kind of an assessment. She can't run this place unless somebody's in charge. She wants to know exactly how respectful they are because these are her backup. Now, she's short. It's not about, not about size. It's about attitude. Good girl, Coda. Now, this is curious because Coda is actually above Gadget. Good girl, Coda. When Coda's tied, I've put Gadget in charge. If they were together, the two would split, Coda would take this half of it, Gadget would be over here because Gadget's eight years old. Because she was raised as a baby to work her way up, she doesn't try to come in and take over every dog. She's smart enough to understand who's in charge, who's not, where everybody is. Now, when we just have a dog with attitude, it's stupid about it. It's just like teaching a child that they're all that and then some, letting them walk into a group and then they get beat up. You gotta know when to act that way and when not to. You can't be afraid. Good girl. Now, Pippa is absolutely appropriate. You need to celebrate good girl, Pippa. Yeah, I heard you. And then she understands she doesn't have to be above everybody. That was the beauty of having Lakota come to your home because she started out low. She didn't start out on a pedestal. Molly started on a pedestal. She had a hard way to go. Kelly started on a pedestal. She had a harder way to go. It was harder for her to learn to fit into a bunch of dogs than it was. Isn't that cute? That is so endearing. Hey, Gadget. Hi. Wait. Hey, wait. That wasn't impressive. Hey, wait. Thank you. Now, this dog is capable of killing varmints. This dog has no problem stepping up and telling somebody what, I mean the dogs, what for. She's the sweetest thing in the world if she trusts you. If she doesn't, she just blows you off. Now, she tests me constantly. What kind of a dog would she be? Okay, whatever. That's the kind we don't like. A boring dog. So when we start talking about controlling intensity, and this whole week's been about that, we don't want to take her attitude away. Now you can beat up a kid or a dog and they'll become very obedient. Or you can teach them to be all that and then some with respect. Most kids these days are raised to feel like they're all important. And then as they get older, you're mad at them. Dogs too. You play with them constantly, they have constant freedom, and then you're mad at them because they don't know how to behave. Then you get a shock collar. Well, then you're correcting them for being happy. Hey, you gadget. She doesn't care what I say, and I didn't give her a command. Now, intensity is not training. An intense dog can't wait to come out here and do things with you. All right. Gadget, I don't think I have a piece big. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah, get it. An intense dog is not boring. 
Wait. Wait. Get it. Get that thing. Oh my gosh, you whipped it again. You give me that thing. You give me that thing. <laughs> You're fine, Coda. You are an evildoer. This is not boring. <laughs> okay, enough. Enough. Hey, enough. Good. Wait. Wait. Hmm, look at that. We have two. She's magic. Wait. You better wait. Get it. You better get that thing. You better get it. That's a mouse in your house, which isn't alive anymore. <laughs> or three. <laughs> or five. <laughs> Leave it. Hey. Leave it. Hey, leave it, Gadget. Leave it. Leave it. Because if it's the neighbor's Maltese, you have to be able to stop it before it's in six pieces. May not be important to you, but it's important to the neighbor. Good. So, Easy. Hey, with me. So a dog like this, if you go out hunting and you're successful, you gotta be able to carry it home so you can cook it for dinner. That was the purpose of intensity, to be able to do a job, but also be able to get the dog to quit. Good, with me. This is very difficult with this rabbit skin right here. This is her aggression. <laughs> Good, easy. Good. So we pride ourselves on being able to play ball and all these things. But if you can't turn them off, oh yeah, they don't leave the kids running alone. Oh yeah, they don't leave bicycles alone. Oh yeah, they don't leave anything alone. You have to be able to call them off. Otherwise, it's dangerous. So, sadly, you're taught never to teach that dog to turn on. That's not good. If you try to keep this dog under the radar, you end up with a worried dog. You end up with a worried child. If you teach them how to turn on, but then have a good off, you got something. Otherwise, you have a guy that only half tries. You don't want that. Why gadget? Are you only half trying? I didn't think so. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So she got down here earlier than I wanted her to. We always have help, don't we? But it doesn't mean she's out of control or running away from me. The more you want them intense, the more you fun you want them, the more control you better have. Good dog. Enough. Hey. Good. And when I say enough, well, the next time we won't have one big enough to play tug with, will we? <laughs> That's all out, full blown. Useful intensity. Good girl. Now, because of this, Gadget can relax when she's off like a normal pet. 
she's the best house dog you could ever want. But when she comes into a bunch of dogs, she lets them know she's here. She hangs her pictures all over the floor. <laughs> well, she can't do it on the wall. <laughs> Good dog. Good dog. Now, the cats. That's this. Yeah. Yeah. The kids running. That's this. Playing ball. That's this. Seeing people. That's this. The obsession that only a border collie can create. That's this. My dog won't let me, I beg your pardon. Your dog better let you. I know, it would be fun, wouldn't it? Please, can't we play a little more? When I say enough, I mean enough. Good girl. Standing outside the show ring this dog can't get herself all stupid. In the show ring, she turns on. Wait. Hi, are you ready? Hey, easy, good. Wait. I can't chill. <laughs> My leg is not good. And when we get out, we stand and talk. So in the show ring, if you ever see, two dogs spar. Come here. You tighten the lead up. That's a corgi. You don't spar corgis. Good dog. You tighten the lead up, and all of a sudden, that puts that dog on alert. That's why you never want to hold them on a tight lead. When you relax, the dog relaxes. Good girl. Good girl. But if she goes in there and out of fear is ready to challenge every dog she sees. That's dangerous. Good dog. No way do we pull them away from another dog. No way do we hold them back. We teach them. And that's what we're working on this week. This collar's too big for you, Gadget. There's one. Would you hand me that turquoise collar right there next to the cane, please? No, no that's not turquoise. The, 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 the next to the cane. Next to the cane. Oh. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. So when you have a dog like this, I can handle her without a collar. Now, she's not trained to do, I mean, my own dogs, I just enjoy. Wait. Yeah, I just lived in four or five different people's homes for a while. She gets along with dogs, good dogs. If you put her in the middle of chaos, however, she would be trying to get everybody to behave because she knows the rules. Good dog. All right, I'm tired of you. I know. Oh wait, I gotta get this. So she's not such a horrible dog, even though I call her horrible. I don't mean it. Make sense to everybody?